Hi, I'm Tavia, and today I want you to meet Lobelia cardinalis, also known as cardinal flower. If you've ever seen a Roman Catholic priest's cardinal's robe, then you'll know exactly why this stunning plant gets its name, cardinal flower. In nature, it grows along streams and in swampy areas. It loves moisture. It really thrives with regular watering. We grow it because, guess what? We grow everything for the pollinators. This spectacular plant will attract hummingbirds. Who doesn't want a hummingbird to visit their garden? Only a moment before we started filming, a hummingbird came and stuck his little nose, his little beak, in each one of these flowers. And he actually pulls it down, he weights it down, and he's hovering, think about that. He's hovering as he collects the sweet nectar. Hummingbirds fight over this plant, so you know the nectar must be scrumptious. This is a native plant. I highly recommend you grow it. Think about it, this is the hot, humid days of our summers here in Kentucky. Not many flowers really enjoy this humidity. The cardinal flower does. It will keep flowering for at least a month, maybe six weeks or more. It will be the highlight of your late July garden. And in particular, you will watch the aerialists, the hummingbirds, they'll be swirling around. They'll zoom in to collect the nectar. Look at the little butterfly. They'll zoom in, they'll fight over it, and they'll sneak it in and then sneak away. It's so much fun to watch. So these racemes, that's what they're called, these flowers, these will get taller and taller and taller. And in a month, these spikes will be up to four feet tall, covered in red tubular flowers. The nectar is deep inside the tube of the flower. So that's why it's perfectly crafted for a hummingbird or a long-tongued butterfly. Everyone, I hope you have a chance to plant cardinal, cardinal flower. Happy gardening. Bye.